Hello and welcome to Crouton Cracker Jacks. Today I'm going to show you how to make the easiest but best pizza crust there is. Don't be intimidated by pizza crust. It's super easy to make using ingredients that you more than likely already have in your pantry and it doesn't take hardly any time at all. So these are the ingredients that you'll need. So let's get started. I'm going to start off with a large bowl here. I'm going to add in two tablespoons of granulated sugar. And to that, I'm going to add in three quarters of a cup of warm water. That's about 100, 110 degrees or so. I'm just gonna swirl that around a little bit to dissolve a little bit of that sugar. And then I'm going to sprinkle on one teaspoon of active dry yeast right on top. Now you wanna let this sit for a few minutes and kind of rehydrate your yeast a little bit. And once that gets a little bit foamy, I'm gonna add in one teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil you can use uh, melted butter for this. You can use vegetable oil, whatever kind of oil that you want. And then I'm going to dump in two cups of all-purpose or plain flour. And I'm just going to use my hands here because eventually I'm going to get my hands dirty with this. So just using my fingertips, I'm just going to stir this together until it kind of starts to come together and form a dough. Now you want to go around the sides of your bowl, make sure that all of the ingredients get off the side of the bowl. Uh, ultimately, you want to make sure that everything gets incorporated into your dough. Out of the dozens and dozens and dozens of times that I've made this, two cups of flour has been perfect for me. It always works with exactly two cups. I never need any less. I never need any more. It just somehow, some way with this recipe, it just works out every time. Now, once it generally starts to come together and form a dough, you want to turn that out onto your countertop, get all that dough off of your hands, and then just start kneading this. You don't have to knead this for any length of time. Uh, really all you want to do is knead this together until it forms a nice smooth dough. It doesn't have to be you know smooth as baby's butt smooth. You just want to make sure that everything is incorporated. And as you knead this you want to keep it moving, keep it moving, keep it moving. If you stop during this or if you are kneading too slow it will stick to you and to your uh, countertop work surface. So just keep it moving, keep it moving, and it shouldn't stick. If it is too sticky, you can use just the tiniest little bit of flour, uh, but really, you really shouldn't have to. And once everything is incorporated, go ahead and make it into a nice ball of dough. And then I'm gonna use the same bowl that I mixed this in. I'm just gonna add in about a tablespoon of additional olive oil and spread that around. And then I'm going to coat my dough in the olive oil. Now make sure that your dough is completely covered in the olive oil so that way it doesn't dry out as it rises. And then you want to cover this with a damp towel and put it into a warm spot to rise for between an hour, hour and a half, maybe two hours, just until the dough is doubled in size. Once your dough has doubled, you can go ahead and take the towel off and punch your dough down, pull it away from the sides of your bowl, make sure it's not sticking there. Now I am using a pizza pan here. It is a specific uh, pan for the pizza industry. I got it at a restaurant supply house. Uh, you can use any pizza pan that you have. You can even use a cookie sheet if you want to for this. And I'm going to put about two tablespoons or so of olive oil into my pan. And I'm going to spread this around so there's a liberal coat of oil covering my entire pan. Then you want to take your dough and place that into the center of your pan. And starting in the center of your dough, you want to use just your fingertips and start pressing this out to the edge of your pizza pan if you're using this kind of pizza pan. Uh, that has a lip on it. If you're using just a cookie sheet or a flat pan, go ahead and press it out until it is about between 14 and 16 inches in diameter. And as you're pressing this out, you just want to use your fingertips here and kind of build yourself up a crust around the outside. But if you're using one of these specialty pizza pans, go ahead and use your fingertips again and press the dough down into the corner of the pan. And then I'm going to go ahead and dock my crust. Now, I'm just using a fork here, and I'm just going to poke a bunch of little holes in this crust. Now, it seems kind of counterintuitive to, you know, punch a bunch of holes in this, but basically what this is going to do is prevent my crust from getting ultra poofy. And ultimately, it just makes a nicer crust. And then from here, you can pretty much top your pizza with whatever you want. Go ahead and use pizza sauce. Uh, after the pizza sauce, typically you do cheese and then the rest of your toppings and bake this in a preheated oven at 450 degrees Fahrenheit for about 12, maybe 14 minutes. You wanna make sure that your crust is nicely golden brown around the edges. You wanna make sure that your cheese is melted on top 
And then you can go ahead and cut up your pizza and serve it any way you wish. And that's really all there is to it, to making your very own homemade pizza crust. See, it's really not hard at all. So there you go. I hope you guys enjoy. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. Subscribe for more deliciousness and to keep up to date on all my latest videos. If you have an idea for a future video, be sure to leave it down below in the comment section. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.